Epoxy resin is a 50% resin and 50% catalyst, which makes it very easy to use. Not like a polyester resin where there's a proportion mix according to what you're using and it can be very easy to get lost in the proportions and when you mix they never cure, they never harden, they remain sticky forever. Whereas the epoxy is very easy to 50-50, no problems. A lot of the work I do I use a silhouette of holographic paper because some of the some of the colours that you use are transparent and you can get some very nice effects using holographic paper. What I would like to do now is show how the wire work is done and I'll spend a few minutes sitting here doing some wire work. It's almost like doodling with wire. The wire you can use, it has to be a reasonably soft wire. It can be copper. I use aluminum wire and you get the anodized stuff which can be colored. It starts off round. I have an old etching press which I run the wire through and I flatten it so I get a wall for doing the cloisons. Now in the old days I used to make a mix of the epoxy, put it in a flat plastic tray so it would be a layer of about like a millimeter and each piece that I put I would dip it in that and then put it in position. Rosine came up with the idea of using crazy glue which speeded up the work tremendously. With the crazy glue within a matter of minutes, it's fixed. So what I am putting now, a little area for like a fin, like a gill fin, so that will give me the limits for where I am going to put the scales. I think if I'd lived in another time, I might have made a living making chain mail, right? Now, when I'm doing the fish scales, I will normally try to use the area that's taken the full size half circle. And if there's a piece that's short, I will leave that till last and then fill in the little pieces later on. So I think from that number there you get the idea of how I would gradually progress across the length of the fish. After all the wire work is done, you will realize there will be little cracks in the joints and all of that. Where if you put a color in that, it will soak through, it will go through. So what I do, when the wiring is totally finished, I will make a mix of epoxy, right? 50-50. I will pour it on and I will take a very cheap, the brushes I use are the same ones that plumbers use the little silver handled bristly brushes because each brush from the time I've done that the only thing you can do with the brush is throw it away. <laughs> 